Welcome to Digital Scrapbooking and Storytelling with PaintShop Pro. In this tutorial, we will look at four simple yet important tips to remember when creating a scrapbook project with PaintShop Pro. When working on a scrapbook project, you will likely end up with many layers and you will possibly use supplies from various sources. Renaming the layers like photo, mat, arrows might be useful, but most of the time the thumbnail will allow you to know what is on a particular layer. However, it could be much harder to remember where you got the arrows or the letters from a title or the stitching row you use, especially if you need to stop your work and get back to it later. For this project, I'm using a kit from Just Jamie, but the stitching was from another source. Although you can manually retype the name of the designer and the kit where the element or paper is from, there are two other methods that are more convenient. In PaintShop Pro 16, you can use the drag and drop from the tray feature and the image will automatically be added on top of the layers and that new layer will have the name of the original image. You can use this method for one image or multiple images and they will all be renamed correctly. I can add this title and these arrows and simply drag them onto my palette. And now you can see both images are renamed exactly the way they were in the tray. For any other versions, you can use a free script called Open as a Layer. Run the script and it will let you navigate and choose one or several images. And again, it will be placed on your project and will be renamed correctly. When you want to tell a story about an event, you might not always have the perfect photo for it. Maybe it's out of focus, too dark, too light, but it's still meaningful to you. You can always blend this imperfect photo in the background and nobody will notice its faults. It's also a great way to use tiny photos or details that will definitely be distorted when you size them up. In this project, I'm using just a large photo that seems to have fewer details, but I can still see the dog and the ball. Because this photo is somewhat blurred and is less detailed, I'll use it in the background, keeping a clearer photo for the focus. What blend mode you will choose will depend on the photo and the background you want it blended into. The most common blend modes used are Multiply, Overlay, and screen. But with some color combinations, you might want to try other modes. I finally decided to go for the multiply blend mode for this particular project. Then you can also adjust the opacity of the layer to get the effect that you like. Your photo will be the star of the project along with the story you want to tell. Draw the viewer's attention to the photo or the journaling by using arrows, brackets, stitching, doodles, or by adding frames and mats to make them stand out. Various kits will include such elements, but you can also create your own with preset shapes, picture tubes, brush tools, or selection tool. In this layout, I used a mat around the photo and the journaling. And then I added a series of arrows and a fun tag on a photo to give it a little bit more emphasis without making the project crowded. Before you merge your project or save it as a JPEG to share with your family or post in a gallery, always save a version in a PSP image format. This format will keep the layers separate and the vectors in an editable format. Save your work with File, Save As, and choose the PSP image format. Then you can give the name that you want to your layout and you click Save. Saving that PSP image version of your project will allow you to come back to it and continue working on it or make changes later if needed. A JPEG version of your project will have only one layer. Imagine finding a typo in your layout just as you are ready to get it printed. If you have a layered version, 
it's not a problem, since you can go back and correct the mistake and nobody will know. Without that file, you would have to either redo your whole project or live with a typo that will haunt you forever. Everyday moments are stories waiting to be told. Do you want to start documenting in special stories? Join us for a live presentation on scrapbooking with PaintShop Pro on June 4th. Click the link below to purchase your access pass. See you then!